Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I am ready to do my first impressions on this bad boy. This is the Wii Snex Mini Buster, and I think I'm saying it right. I assume the way to say Snex is Snex, because it's spelt S-N-E-C-X, so I guess it could be Snex, but I think it's Snex. <laughs> That's the only way I've heard it said. Anyway, this is a collaboration between Snex Knives, who I'm, I've seen, but I'm not, if I'm honest, totally familiar with. Like, I've seen their Instagram. They seem to make some pretty cool stuff, but I haven't, like, closely followed them before. So, um, this is a smaller version of the Buster, because it's called the Mini Buster. Just putting two and two together there. I haven't held a full-size Buster. I don't know how big it is. This feels like a pretty good full-size knife to me. <laughs> not, a, not a large or overbuilt knife, but just like a good full-size knife. Anyway, um, it's been a while since I've handled a Wii built knife, and I've owned a few. I've owned a few knives that have been collaborated um, from U.S. designers with Wii knives, like um, the Bird Blades. I had the Iron Pup a ways back, or I don't know. I've had a couple, but um, I've also had the the Berg Slim, which I think I don't know if the newest batch was also built by Wii, but I think the one I had was built by Wii. Anyways, I've handled a few, I've owned a few, and uh, we builds really, really good knives. But lately I've been on this kick of React built knives for like US designers or US companies. So when I say US companies, I mean like Urban EDC Supply partnering up with Voxnays. He's not American, but Urban EDC Supply is. And they created the F5.5, and that knife is built by React, and it's fantastic. I love that knife. Um, other examples would be like the Enrique Pina knives, the X-Series knives that he has built by Riat. I have the Apache, and I have the Moolah. Both are fantastic, really, really high caliber knives um, from a U.S. designer built by Riat. Then there's like the Birch Tree Seacant, same story. U.S. designer, awesome design. Riat nailed it out of the park on the production on that knife. So I've been impressed with some of these kind of like relationship knives where Riat is the manufacturer but they're they still kind of get like the soul of the maker and the the true design that seems to really shine through when it gets the end user so i've been liking that kind of range and i think this kind of fits in that range it's a collaboration although this is a, a catalog model for we knives that is a little bit of a difference so um each of those knives that i just named are are not branded as react knives <laughs> it doesn't say react on them anywhere it just says the the person who had it built, like their maker mark goes on them. Riat just did the production. This is a Wii catalog knife. So it, you can see on the show side here, it's branded as a Wii. And I think that's uh, kind of interesting. I'm sure it's probably a lot more units in that way. And uh, as somebody who's kind of going down the rabbit hole right now with a buddy in the process of like trying out, designing a knife and, and, and going down this rabbit hole, um, that's one of those things that I'm, I'm starting to become aware of, the difference between having a production run done and licensing a design to a company. So this is one that is in the Wii catalog. This is a Wii knife, and it's designed by Snex. So um, if you watch the unboxing of this knife, I was surprised by it. <laughs> um, this was loaned to me by Joe, the Knife Whisperer, and I'll link to his channel down below. I probably should have said that right at the beginning of the video. Here I am a few minutes in. Anyways, um, Joe has become a buddy. I really like Joe. He has a very different take to knife reviewing. He's a funny guy, he's quirky, he's different, and his channel is the same as him. <laughs> it's quirky and different, and uh, he's just a funny dude. So, um, watch his channel if you haven't before. He just reviewed a couple of my knives, and uh, now I've got these from him. He sent this and the CKF. Gavco. So um, this I didn't even really ask him for. I've, I've seen a number of people that I respect and whose opinions I like saying good things about this knife, typically on Instagram. I don't think I've watched any actual reviews of this knife because I try to avoid doing that and like in case I end up reviewing the knife because I don't want to inadvertently be parroting what I heard someone else say. Um, I'd rather just come to my own conclusions and then I can watch everyone's reviews after I've reviewed it too. I just I try to do that. I fail sometimes, and I, I like watching reviews, but um, I've just, I've heard a lot of good things. People have been speaking highly of it, and I remember seeing that this knife was coming and thinking like, oh, maybe I will be getting a Wii soon, because that looks really cool. It, it looks kind of my style. I, I like 
this knife and uh, and the specs seemed right and everything seemed cool about it so nonetheless I wasn't like looking for one for a loner and uh, I was excited to borrow the CKF that he was sending and he was like I'm gonna send this too he kind of insisted and if you watch the unboxing I was like really kind of surprised by how much I liked this right out of the package and it's continued to impress me there is a lot about this knife that is just like different and kind of on another level, I feel. Especially, I need to double check where the pricing is on this knife, but I think it's a little under 300 bucks. And I feel like this type of build for sub 300 bucks is really impressing me. So I keep noticing a lot of little things on this that are really, really nice. So I'll kind of walk through those. And then this is my first impressions. I've only carried this knife once. <laughs> um, I've done, I think I've opened two boxes with it, like Amazon packages. Haven't even processed cardboard with it. It's been light, light use so far. I'm not going to do anything crazy with it because it's pretty and it's a loner. It's not mine. Um, so I'm not going to like thrash this knife anyways, but I haven't done enough with it yet to be in full review territory. That'll come later, but I'm already just, I'm noticing things about it. So right when it came out of the box, one of the first things I noticed was this backspacer. Holy balls. This is one of the coolest backspacers I've ever seen. It's really intricate. So it's a steel backspacer, I think, just based on the way that it's finished. Um, I guess I could be wrong. Maybe it's titanium, but I think it's steel. Anyways, the way that it's machined, you can see, like, there's this little divot right there, right? And then the way it's shaped right up here is pretty interesting. But if you see, there's a channel in it where the blade is resting. And then if you look at it again here, the blade rests in the backspacer like the whole way along the knife seemingly. Um, and then if you open it up and you look internally at that backspacer, there's this milled groove for the blade path all the way through here. And it's just this really cool step where like they've made the backspacer really part of the knife, whereas sometimes it feels like a construction piece where it's holding things together. This feels like part of the body of the knife. Kind of like how an integral has that sensation where it's like all part of it, right? This doesn't feel, it just feels different. The way they've done that channel and the way that the blade itself rests into the backspacer is a really cool thing. Um, I'm not into lanyards. I, you're not going to catch me putting lanyards on knives, but the way that they've integrated the lanyard kind of hole here on the backspacer is also really nice and it looks good. It doesn't bother me at all that it's there, even though I don't use lanyards. There's also right here, these little milled in sections are actually windows down into the knife. You can see into the knife. If I shined a light through here right now, I probably should have grabbed a flashlight so I could, you'd see light coming through those gaps. And it's like this cool machined little section where they've just like created a window in. And then there's a window into the knife right here. Let me see if I can look at you through it. You see me? <laughs> um, yeah, it passes straight through. And so you can see through the knife. And then also when the knife is closed, you can see the blade resting in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but um, just really cool, like, machining touches. And that's just, like, windows in the backspacer, right? If you look at the scales in general, there's also just, like, these machined components on here that look kind of robotic and futuristic, and um, it's just nice. It's really well done. The lock side as well, you get kind of the same shaping all over the pocket clip, looks really like deliberately designed and shaped and it fits the aesthetic super well. Um, the hardware on it is all really, really nice. It really, I don't know, it just feels kind of like robotic in a cool way. I feel like sometimes people go for like a ultra futuristic robotic aesthetic and it just looks kind of chintzy and like cheap. Um, and like it's not delivered well. And this still feels really like classy and cool to me. And like, futuristic. It's it's a cool vibe that's going on here. Um, so yeah, I really, really like a lot of the subtle kind of touches on this knife. And uh, on top of that, for it to look as cool as it does and have all these design elements, these ergos are bananas. <laughs> really, really good for my hand. It's the perfect size handle for me. I wear medium gloves, but I fill them out well. Um, I just, I get a great four finger grip on here. There's a little bit of jimping up here for my thumb, which isn't aggressive and doesn't bother me. And then there's this little notch right there that I find I just love 
having. <laughs> like, it's just this cool little indexing point where I can set my thumb into it or onto it and I just know right where I am and it feels like uh, not even traction but just like a cool spot to kind of I guess lock my thumb in a little bit but I don't know it feels nice I like that they put that little divot there it feels deliberate and like someone felt it and was like that feels good put that there you know not just like cut a notch in it you know <laughs> if they did they were lucky that it ended up feeling this good it seems deliberate um, yeah ergonomically it's like it feels really great in my hand this is confidence inspiring it feels locked in I don't need crazy texture anywhere, and there isn't crazy texture anywhere. Even the jimping is pretty muted. It just feels solid in my hand and locked in because it's shaped. It feels kind of like it's shaped for my hand, which is nice. Um, the pocket clip isn't really hot spotty. It is a little bit of a point right there, but in hand I don't really feel it, and it hasn't bothered me in pocket or anything, so that's that. Um, Speaking of which, I guess we'll go over carry real quick. Um, carry on this knife, I have found it carries quite well. It's pretty slender this way. Am I doing that right? This way. Um, and that tends to mean pretty comfortable in pocket. It's not like a featherweight. It's, it's not super duper lightweight, but it's not real heavy either. Um, there is a bunch of internal milling on here, like a lot, um, which fits the vibe of all the other milling on here. Like this handle is really kind of next level in terms of the machining on it. Um, and yeah, it's it's it carries like a full-size knife that's not like super lightweight because it is titanium and has thick blade stock, uh, but it, it's comfortable and it carries well. And I'd prefer a deep carry clip because that's my preference on every knife, but this clip works really well. In and out of pocket, it's great. It's got good retention. It rides well. Like it's just, it carries well so far. Um, I realized I didn't talk about any ergos other than just like saber grip, but I think that's really all I've kind of done so far. Um, in hammer grip, it's also very comfortable. That kind of goes hand in hand with saber grip. Reverse grip on this is actually quite good. I like reverse grip on here. Reverse grip draw cut, eh, it's fine. Um, not a problem. It works. Forward grip draw cut, pretty good. That feels quite good, actually. I like that. So, in any grip that I put it in, it's comfortable. It carries quite well. And then the only other thing I, I typically talk about is cutting performance. And I'll probably kind of save some of those comments for when I do a little more cutting with it. So far it's done fine for opening those couple of boxes. But if I ever come across a knife that doesn't do fine for like opening a couple of Amazon boxes, then that is a bad knife. Like that's a low metric of performance in, in my book. So um, yeah, I guess I also talk about action usually. I haven't touched on that. But the action on this is super satisfying. Um, I've found this feels like what I remember of most Wii's. It's kind of drop shutty, not like free drop or guillotine drop shutty, but like a really controlled, smooth, like there's an even level of resistance all the way down. And it's like, it just maybe takes the slightest coaxing, but it's very, yeah, it feels controlled and smooth and it's a lot of fun to fidget with. I'm generally not like super into flipper only knives. I'd prefer to have multiple deployment methods or at least like if I can middle finger flick it, I'll take that over a flipper. But um, as flipper only knives go, this one's fun to play with. It fidgets well. Um, I've never had an issue <laughs> deploying it all the way. I think when I was unboxing it, I even tried Kevin's test where you see vertically putting just enough pressure to get the lock bar to break, yeah, you can get it to fail. But it's re it takes concentration to get this knife to not deploy all the way. Like, whether I'm light switching it, kind of coming down, or if I'm push buttoning it, kind of going inwards. Ooh, that's harder to do. But um, the way my, my finger naturally <laughs> wants to do it, that hurt now that I slipped off, um, it's, it's, it's a good action wax open. It, it's not like craziest, most ridiculous action I've ever felt, but it's good. I like it. <laughs> if It's fun to play with. So I'm impressed with this knife so far. I'd heard a lot of good things, like I said, from people that I genuinely and generally believe. Um, and maybe I should have just paid more attention. Maybe I should have, when it looked shiny to me and I saw it was coming out, I should have 
commended more and gotten one, or, I don't know, I really like this. I guess it, what'll be interesting to see is at the end of reviewing this one, if I feel like I need one for myself. Because right now I'm kind of enamored with how cool it is, and how fun it is, and how it's it's unique. But I don't know if at the end of it I'll feel like, when I send this one back to Joe, that I need to have one for myself in my own collection. Like, is it different enough and cool enough that it stands on its own and that I'll want to carry it over other knives that I own personally? I don't know. Um, time will tell. At the moment, I'm kind of leaning towards... It's a strong possibility. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to get me to buy a knife that I've borrowed at this point because I'm always looking for, like the new thing. So once I've experienced something, the idea of buying it just to have in my collection when I've already kind of gone through the like getting to know it phase is, is a, a different equation than most people go through, but we'll see. I like this knife a lot. I'm enjoying it. So anyway, this is the Wii Snex Mini Buster. And uh, again, Joe the Knife Whisperer will be linked down below. He's the one who loaned this to me for review. And first impressions are really good on this. They're, they're better than I was expecting them to be. And I... I anticipated liking this knife. I wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna hate that thing. I thought it was gonna be cool, but it's way cooler than I was expecting it to be. So, there you have it. <laughs> Thanks for checking it out, guys. There will be a full review on this guy fairly soon, and uh, I'll see you then.